Hi everyone and welcome to my video. Today I'm going to be working with decoupage rice paper, which is sometimes referred to as mulberry paper. This is actually not made of rice or the mulberry tree, but it is made of a tree bark, but it's just always been referred to as rice paper. So that's what I call it on the website. Now in my last video you'll remember I worked with paper napkins and I have one here. You'll remember that I had to separate the layers. This paper napkin has three layers and you separate the layers and just use the top layer which is very very thin. Now paper napkins are fantastic to use for decoupage. You can create something really beautiful but they are flimsy and the difference with these and decoupage rice paper which I'll show you now is that the rice paper is quite a lot stronger. There's no layers and it remains translucent like the napkins when you use the top layer it's translucent which means your picture really pops on a light colored surface so if you can see in the video this paper is quite translucent you can probably see my hand running underneath it and it also has little fibers in the paper which gives it a really beautiful natural look. I hope those are showing up in the video. Now compared to your normal printer paper, I've got a piece here, this is quite thick, it's not terribly flimsy, if you tear it you get a funny edge. Whereas the rice paper, you know, it's thin, it's beautiful, and it's still tough, but you don't get that funny edge. You get more of a sort of a flaky edge, which will blend in beautifully with the paint beneath it when you're doing your decoupage. So that's what I'm going to be working with today, and let's get started. So I'm just going to move that napkin out of the way and that paper and with this paper I don't use water to tear it I just tear it normally without the water and I don't cut it I spoke last time about how I will occasionally cut the paper napkins and you can cut this one too but I prefer to tear and I'm just going to tear out this image first It doesn't really matter if you crinkle it while you're tearing it out because you can straighten it out with your cling film when you're doing your decoupage. It will smooth out. It's extremely easy to use and although it is more expensive than the decoupage paper napkins it's a fantastic product and I'd highly recommend it. I've got quite a few beautiful uh, rice paper decoupage papers on the website so don't forget to go and check those out. So yeah, just carefully tear around everything that I want to use. And there you go, there's my first piece. Okay, so I've torn out three pieces now and I've just laid them out where I'd like them to go. And in the center, I've got a little bumblebee that is actually from a paper napkin. And I'm just gonna use him to fill the center. 
so I think that's quite a nice configuration. And I've got my homemade decoupage glue here, or homemade Mod Podge. I'm just going to give that a little stir. And I've got my cling film. Okay, and I'll just pull those off to the side. And I'm going to start with this piece here. So I'm just going to put my decoupage glue around where I want that piece to go. This is honestly so easy to use. Just position it into place. Push it down slightly. Grab a piece of cling film. And just the same as what we did in the last video with the paper napkin. Just smooth it down. You can actually be a little bit firmer with this stuff because it's just not anywhere near as delicate. And don't worry about that bit over the edge. I'm going to show you what to do with that later. So there's my first piece. Then I'll do the second piece. go about there. Just double check that. With this paper you can actually move it. You can adjust it before you stick it down which makes it also that's another reason it's a lot easier to use. So I think about there is right. So I'm just going to get another piece of cling film. And push that down. So now I've got uh, everything in position where I want it. I'm just going to go over it all with some more decoupage glue just to set it into place. And there you have it. Now I'll come back and show you what I do with these little edges once this decoupage glue has dried. See you soon. Okay guys, I'm back. And you'll see I added a few more um, little decorations. A couple of flowers here, some leaves here, here, and here. And I didn't film this, but I just put a little paint line 
to carry on the uh, stem of the plant. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is show you how you get rid of these flappy bits around the edges. And to do that you can either use an old emery board or a bit of sandpaper like this. And you just lift up your plate and carefully just sand it away. Just like that. And then you're left with your smooth edge. So I'm just going to do this around here and here and then I'm going to flip the plate over and I'm going to paint the base of it. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. I'm just going to clear up any sanding dust that there is and then I'll be back to paint the base. Okay guys, so this is the back of my plate. This was the colour the this wooden plate was originally. And you would have noticed I pre-painted the front before I decoupaged it. So I'm just going to completely paint it in this nice green colour. This is a Newton's uh, test pot. And I'm sorry, I can't remember the name of the colour and they don't put the name on the test pots so I'm not sure what it's called anyway I'm just going to give it a stir a little stir and pour some out on this old plate just going to go for it. So I'll paint with the brush around the edges and then I'll use the sponge to paint the um, centre. so I'm going to leave that to dry now and then I'll do one more coat and then I'll move on to varnishing the product. Hi guys I'm back now and I've finished painting the base of my plate. I've done two coats of the chalk paint and I've also off camera painted a thin gold line around the edge of the plate just to set it off a bit more. Now the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to varnish the top and I'm going to give that three coats of varnish and the varnish I'm using today is British Paints water-based clear varnish in satin and I'm just going to show you the first coat and then once I've done all the coats I'll come back and show you the finished product. I'll also be varnishing the base probably just uh, two coats on the base. I'll see how it goes. I may do three. But yeah, I'm just going to start with the first coat on the top and then I'll be back to show you the finished product once that's all dry. Okay, that's the first coat done. Um, I won't show you the subsequent coats just because it'll make the video way too long, uh, but I will come back and show you the finished product. See you soon. Okay, well here's my finished plate. I'm just going to zoom in and 
show you different areas of it. Okay, and that's had three coats of varnish on the top and two on the bottom. I really love the flowers. I'd really like to hear what you think in the comment section. And if you want to give Jacobage rice paper a go, just know it's really easy to use.